Yes, they've got the appetite for it now. Suddenly their forwards are feasting. Fev for just about in the resistance. The margin is 23. Geelong are on their knees and Brendan Favola has got the football in the left full forward pocket. Kick is on its way. Good night Geelong. Yes, they've had a couple of uh, miracle get out of jails the last couple. Well, not miracle get out of jails. They were able to pick up Hawthorne from a five-goal margin the last quarter. That was a good effort. Last week they just outlasted the Crows, but uh, very hard to see them got, that have got a five goals in them with only seven minutes to play. Uh, Carlton have earned, earned what looks like being a really good victory against one of the unbeatables. Well, the news gets worse for the Cats down here on the bench. You can see Cam Mooney in the middle of the screen there. He has come off with a hand injury, really struggling to handle the ball, put any pressure on it at all. And I think that he's probably gone for the night, as it appears Milburn is too, and also Wojcicki up there in the back right-hand corner. Thanks, Tim. It's so well done to Ling, to fall forward. Johnson on a hard leg. That's a good mark. They've actually got both Hawkins and they might have to have Mooney off the ground, but their two big forwards are off the ground, so uh, Johnson it's a, uh, is now basically leading their forward line. So Steve Johnson without a goal so far tonight. So are we seeing something that's momentary bucks, do you reckon, or is, are we seeing the beginning of uh, something more insidious as far as Geelong's chances are this year. Well, they haven't played at their best for, for quite a while. The St Kilda game, they were pretty good in that loss. Uh, they came back in the last three quarters, but, you know, they were exposed by Brisbane the week after that, and their personnel hasn't been right since that moment. Scotland on the other side. Fair to say a lot to dislike about Geelong tonight. He drives it around the outer side, if nothing else. Tells you a story about their depth. Mumford did well. Selwood, against all the odds, trying to lift his team. Stokes, Enright. Selwood's up to 28 possessions. Terrible kick across the ground. Mackey stopped it, though. Clever. Back to Ling. Like Gillies. Mm. There, Dennis. Bartell. Bartell. Long down towards full forward. Johnson being held surely. No free kick. So let's say well done, Russell. He's got it back from Judd. Russell, it's been a powerful performance back there. Compelling performance in defence. Comes out wide. Wiggins runs to the wing. Kicks long down towards Hartford. Simpson! Oh. Well, fighting out of his division. Now he flicks it across to Stevens. Forced to hesitate 55 metres out. Well done by Harley, characteristically Brendan, ghosting Brendan, across Brendan. in front of two players who were jostling to take the mark. And now goes to Varko. Has Ablett short. We haven't seen Ablett in space like this too often tonight. He's playing on Judd now, bit of a contest for the purest. Judd and Ablett seem to have that one-on-one -on -one match up together. Armfield, here is Judd. She's got a spring on his step tonight, Judd, hasn't he? Kicks to Robinson. Through the centre, Walker. Good looking kick, I'll help him. And now Simpson got squeezed up at the end for Vola working into a good spot. Got the three before the mark, I think. Yep. Yes, Carlton will go to at least fifth tonight. And when you look at their draws, they've got a great percentage. It's not impossible that they could finish top four if well, things work out. Well, this is the bonus. We know St Kilda have got uh, a lot of players missing tomorrow, so Hawthorne might have a bonus game. But no one's been able to beat Geelong and uh, St Kilda. St Kilda beat Geelong. We know uh, Lions got Geelong with a lot of players out. And it looks like Carlton are the other team that's going to beat in one of these top two. He kicks this, Fev. He's uh, level with Jonathan Brown and the Coleman medal. But he has hooked. So he's had a lot of shots tonight, Lefebvre. And he's doing a buddy. He's three goals, six. And right, straight up the middle. Mumford did well, falling to the ground to Ablett. 
Not his best kick, but the Cats appear to have an extra number across our forward at the moment, although the ball is tied up. Another the bounce, 3.35, 3.34, clock stops, 91 play, 62. Had a great lunch today too with Lee Matthews, the centre of attention here in Melbourne. Brisbane honouring their premiership coach. And what about John Kennedy, Lee? <laughs> Can't he hold the attention of a row? He's an orator. Okay, okay. Yep. That was fantastic. Good and congratulations you. to you too. Thanks, mate. So Johnny's got it across half back. Oh, good kick, Judster. Betts has got it. Drives it down towards half forward. Close to the boundary line. Arriving to Nace. What will he do? Keeps it alive. Though Halpin is interesting. Without the cape. Hand pass came from Corey. Enright, confusing I know. Tenace's kick, not good. Knocked down by Cruiser. Mackey, Ling, Barker's got it. Gibbs has got him. It's happened a lot tonight, hasn't it? Carlton's tackling's been impressive. Bartell and Judd, a couple of Brownlows there. Good give back to Jimmy, well done. That's a beautiful handball. Ling on his right, wrong side, but not a bad kick to Johnson. And again, Carlton with numbers and pressure. Cruz has been so important to them, and now Bauer. Well, they've had a couple of disastrous Friday nights at the MCG this year, Carlton. The last couple of times they've been here, they lost to Essendon. That was their biggest losing margin of the year. And then Collingwood, they only scored 40 points, their lowest score for the year. But tonight, you'd have to say it's just about been their best performance and of the, the year. And then the positive group, they got they ran St Kilda to one kick. Yeah, they did at, at uh, Docklands, and yeah. then they did beat Western Bulldogs earlier this year, but you've got to say that probably this is their defining performance so far this season. Walker. Is it more about Carlton tonight or more about Geelong, I wonder? Here's Hurlihan. I think, naturally, we'll, we'll, people will want to make it about Geelong and the fact that they've underperformed compared to what we expect, but as I said earlier, you can't discount Carlton's performance. That, their performance has been equally as surprising, I suppose, going the right way. It's been very positive. Um, as positive as uh, Geelong's been disappointing. Mm. I'd go on the basis this has been an ordinary game. I reckon Geelong have been quite poor tonight and Carlton have been quite good, but I don't, uh, I don't think this has been one of the sort of marquee games that we see every now and again. So Carlton just kicking it around at the moment, just over a minute to go. Bryce Gibbs, 31 possessions for the Blues, but I think the definitive player tonight in terms of this result has been Chris Young, 27 possessions. And he got them when they counted. Houlihan on the outer side, feeds it wide, Thornton. And I think if there's one rule we've learned over the years, that great players have great pride, whether it's a Matthews or a Buckley or a Judd or a Hurd. They have an average game. It's almost odds on the following week. They're back in business. Their pride dictates what they do. And Carlton now set up for the finals appearance as Favola slides in to take the mark. Yeah, this fifth. I reckon he'll kick this. Yeah, and that will just about make the night. <laughs> yeah. Adrenaline's up. Pressure's off a little bit. Yes. Yeah, thanks, Tom. He's got the haircut as he got the finish. Kick is on its way. Well, there you go. You picked it, Dennis. There you go. He's got four for the night. There's the siren. It followed the script. Carlton win. 14-13 to 8-14. The Blues are in the finals.